Hello and uh, welcome friends. Today we will talk about another affordable school fountain pen. But uh, this time I have a quite interesting model. And when I saw it on the shelf, I thought to myself, oh, uh, who did nib um, and it looks like a Parker 51. I must uh, get this fountain pen. I don't know. I believe it is made in China and um, I bought it from uh, a French retailer in my town called Oshan and uh, this is um, made for a distributor in Romania it is called Pigna Romania Impex LLM and it has also a web address Pigna.ro here it says that it isn't uh, recommended for um, young children under three years because it has more parts all of this is uh, written in Romanian they have um, a line of fountain pens called the uh, school friendly and it states that this is a premium fountain pen so fine writing by school friendly premium uh, fountain pen it has um, classic style nib and um, it states here that we have 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 millimeters it says it's a resistant ideal for daily use and on the back it says that we have a metallic fountain pen with a nib made out of iridium resistant nib it states that it's a medium nib made out of stainless steel the weight is uh, between 20 and 30 grams it has a um, flexible clip. The cap, it has a flexible clip. The design is modern and it is ideal for the beginners or for school use. It is recommended for daily use and it functions with standard ink cartridges and it is included in the pack one ink cartridge. And here is um, the way you use the ink cartridge. Introduce the cartridge in the um, indicated direction and press firmly till you hear a click sound. You must wait one minute before the fountain pen becomes functional. As you can see, it comes in this uh, plain cardboard uh, package. But the cardboard is the only one imprinted it uh, as you can see it doesn't write where it is uh, made but uh, i presume it was made in china for this distributor and when it comes in romania they repackaged it in this package it is a rather crude package because it is um, uh, secured with this um, metallic clips so no adhesive I told you I bought this fountain pen at uh, the French retailer Ocean from my city Brasov in Romania and I paid for it 18.40 lei um, which means I paid for it 3.80 euros or 4.52 American dollars. Now we are ready for the um, um, package I will try to remove as gently as I can this um, metallic clips okay here's one and um, we still have four left and uh, you know that I can't uh, I don't like to wait so let's okay this is the cap a metallic cap and this is the body of the fountain pen this is the package we leave this aside and let's examine for a for a moment the fountain pen as you can see it comes with this hooded nib it has this metallic barrel which comes uh, engraved with this uh, dragon. Interesting engraving. I don't uh, mind it at all. 
here we have the metallic cap and uh, we see imprinted gene how so this is a gene how model gene how 911 okay so mystery it is solved this is a product made in china by the gene how fountain pen company it closes like this a beautiful looking fountain pen let's um, see the barrel yes it unscrews and yes it is uh, quite uh, simple they said i have an ink cartridge included but uh, no ink cartridge oh i think the ink cartridge is uh, stuck here let's give it a little no <laughs> unfortunately the ink cartridge is stuck you can see it maybe if i okay okay now so this is the ink cartridge interesting because um, i believe it's a large or a medium size cartridge let's um let's see let's see so this is our ink cartridge this is a small international size ink cartridge you can see that uh, at the end they are uh, compatible and this is a large international size cartridge so look at them side by side and um, let's put them here on the paper and you can see that um, that um, the cartridge provided in the package i think it is a medium size it is between a large international size ink cartridge and a small international ink cartridge okay okay for now let's um leave them aside and i will take the provided ink cartridge and follow the instructions i will simply push until i hear that click sound okay and now i will unscrew back the barrel and the cap and as it states on the package we will wait for one minute to to let the ink flow to reach the nib section till then i have for you uh inspiration of this fountain pen so it all began with this model i have here an original parker 51 from the beginning of the 1950s it uh, is black and um, famous for its hooded nib and for the aerometric filling system which includes this uh, resistant sack okay i will leave this aside and um, i have another fountain pen this time is a fountain pen made in italy it is it is a stylus 111 with a beautiful gold nib and uh, you can see the gold nib although um, it is not a semi uh, it is not a semi hooded nib or a hooded nib i liked uh, this model and i really think that it has um, an inspiration in the parker 51 as you can see the design was slightly copied of course this comes with the internal piston filling mechanism and it has uh, an ink window but um, the overall shape resembles the parker 51 
and um, of course I've prepared also some fountain pens made um, in the 1970s in China. I have a youth model here. You can see the same uh, hooded uh, nib, but uh, the, the models made in the 70s also have um, the same uh, filling mechanism, aromatic filling mechanism. And um, I will put this aside. I have also a Hero model, Hero G, also with a hooded nib and um, also with the aromatic filling mechanism. And I have for you also a black model. This I believe it is uh, also a Hero 320 but uh, it um, the grip section it isn't original uh, there had many parts that were interchangeable between uh, producers chinese producers and of course um, our fountain pen made by uh, jin hao this is a uh, modern Chinese manufacturer of fountain pens. It is quite slim fountain pen. And um, let's put them side by side. So I will start with the original Parker 51 and the Italian model from the 1950s. And I will continue with our fountain pen Jin Hao and with uh, his um, oldest brothers from the 1970s and 1980s Chinese made fountain pens and um, you can see that uh, the Chinese model in comparison with um, Parker 51 from the 1950s are a little bit smaller and um, slimmer than the original Parker 50 one and um, i will also leave the dimensions of our fountain pen on uh, the screen and uh, till then i think we are ready to to do the writing sample but of course it all depends if the ink has uh, reached uh, the ink from the cartilage has reached the nib section. I will uh, post it. Let's see if it posts. Okay. In time, uh, it will scratch this zone. So I recommend if you use it, uh, don't uh, post it. Let's put the cap here. And um, let's see if it writes. No. So, no ink, no problem. You know that um, I don't have lots of patience. So, I simply uh, gently apply pressure on the cartilage. I must tell you, it is um, made out of a very thick plastic because um, it is very hard for me to apply the pressure. So, um, I will pause the video because I need to fix it to make the flow of ink work and uh, I will be right back. So eventually I made it work. Um, it was just a matter of time before it reached the uh, neighbor section. Of course it is uh, compatible also with an international converter and you can find this quite cheap so um, if you mind that this fountain pen hasn't the aerometric filling system don't be sad because you can attach a converter and um, transform it in a little reliable writing instrument of course if you don't like the ink cartridges they're um, also compatible with uh, the large size of international cartilage okay leave this um, aside and now 
I am um, ready for the writing sample and um, okay this is a gene how 911 model but um, it um, is um, made especially for uh, pigna in uh, Romania this is the distributor of this fountain pen of course being a Jinhao product it is certainly made in China China this is a metallic met, met, metallic fountain pen it has a hooded steel nib let us uh, check out um, if it um, if it is um, uh, flexible no flex it has a little feedback to it but uh, not an unpleasant feedback and you can see it's uh, it is um, fairly wet Mm, a nice, uh, nice, nice fountain pen, and um, I'm sorry that I didn't have the chance to um, show it um, and analyze it. You can see um, the metallic uh, body and uh, this nice looking cap. It ends in this um, rather um, pointy end and it is sy sy symmetrical with the ending of the barrel i didn't test the springiness oh it has a good good uh, um, clip a rather uh, nice looking fountain pen and uh, for this money i think um, it is a good good deal this was my review of the school friendly fountain pen this premium uh, fountain pen which uh, is manufactured by Jin Hao in China and it is distributed in Romanian by the firm Pigna. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this uh, review of an interesting fountain pen for uh, school children. Please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. As always, I wish you to have a nice day and bye-bye.